In uh, this video, I'll be um, looking at feature to feature distance calculation. So we have towns calculating distance from one type of town to another type, calculating distance from a town to a lake, and so on. So basically, having two different features, you know, features or two different feature types, and then calculating the distance in between. I'll be looking at two of the most commonly used tools namely the distance to nearest hub this point and on in the um in end join which is especially necessary if you're talking about um areas and not just points so um let's uh, look at it in QGIS. so um we have this data set that we've been working with earlier so i have from uh, natural earth I have uh, clipped um, the countries, the populated places, and the lakes, and changed the projection to um, to the projection used in um, in um, in Europe. So this is all in this um, Lambert Koenig um, projection. So we will um, we will be working with this, and um, I have converted it from um, being a latitude longitude to being projected data because when we'll start using the NN join tool at the end of the video, this only oh, it will work in the units of the that the data is stored in. So if the data is stored in latitude longitude. And it will measure distances in latitude and longitude, which is not very practical. So, therefore, I have converted all of the data coordinate system from latitude and longitude to a projected coordinate system in meters based on the Lambert Koenig projection, that is one of the two recommended um, small scale maps in Europe. So, I have. Um, the populated places and these populated places they have an attribute that says whether or not they are a capital. So what I will do is that I'll just filter out my cities of populated places based on this uh, cap admin cap that one. So admin cap equal one. So that's true. That should be all capitals and. Uh, you can just make them red dot. So big red dot. Um, duplicate the layer and uh, calculate. Chain make these two let's say smaller dots and change the filter to be zero. And finally, I would probably like to call these capitals and non capitals. Good. Um, just make these even smaller. So um good now we have this data set what we want to do is that we want to calculate the distance from a given non-capital to its nearest capital in this case in our processing toolbox have the videos filter on distance in this vector analysis that basically we one two three and to some degree four uh, tools that are relevant. The ones that are the most common ones to use are the distance to nearest of as points. That's the one I'll start with. There's also a by line and then there is a matrix. And finally there is this plugin I installed. So this um an enjoy. But let's uh, let's start with the simple one the Distance to nearest hub is point. So 
if I run this tool, I would say I would like to do a distance from my non capital to a capital, and I would like to identify the nearest capital by its name, and I want to have the distance in kilometers. So what this tool does is that you can see and I've got a new layer where I've got all my calculations in them. This distance, uh, distance, hop distance, and um, I could symbolize it. So I could say classify based on this hop name. So that's the name of the nearest capital. So now they all got nice colors according to its capital that I click those two. And I could uh, probably also make it a bit easier if I filter. So we have the hop distance, say that the fill the hop distance should be less than um, 200 kilometers. So now we have a data set. That says which capital is something closest to, and uh, which um, I think I just I just change Copenhagen's color for it because it's conflicting with Stockholm. So uh, now we can easier see the so. Where we have these, so Uteborg and uh, these towns up here are all more than two kilometers from any of the Nordic capitals. We have these that are the green ones are within 200 kilometers of Oslo. These are within 200 kilometers of Stockholm, and the green ones are within 200 kilometers of Copenhagen. So in this way, we can use this distance to to do analysis on Auckland and whatever we want to do on that type. Um, for visualization purposes, it might sometimes be appropriate to use the distance uh, line to hub. It does basically the same. So we go from our non capitals to our capitals and we will use the name to reference it. And we want our distance to measures in kilometers. So what this tool does is that it draws the lines from our towns to the nearest capital. So you get this uh, spoke effect. And if I am now just make sure that they are on top of the land so I can see what I'm doing. Um, we can see we get these nice spoke effects um, around each of the capitals. The only thing is that again there we might want to go in and filter on its properties. So again here it will have a hop distance that we can set to be uh, less than uh, 200. So here we are, again have the spokes around the capitals that we and move a distance of two kilometers or two hundred kilometers. So this is a relatively um, straightforward thing. We should note that on this one, this tool here, if we uh, look at its attribute table, we will see that it has its um, its original town and its hub distance and hub name. So the data is on the line. So if I use the I2 and click on this line here, you can see that is from Visby to Stockholm. Okay, so here we have um, the information on the line. While when we are using the other tool, so while we're using the point hub, we have information on the 
individual points. So if I use I to not on the lines, but this get the that one. And if we go to Melmo, you can see that I now get the data on the individual point rather than the line. So there's a difference between the two that the one the point this makes a new point with the attributes on it while the line creates the line between the two. That can be useful for visualization. If I um now wanted to um look at the distance to lakes. So we would look at our non distant and our, our non capitals and calculate the distance to the nearest lake on these. We will see that we can do that. Distance to hub points, say if going from a non capital to a lake. And again, I want to identify the lake by its name. And I want the distance to be given in kilometers. Now, of course, I've got a lot of layers called more or less the same. Um, you just have to look, find which one it is. Um, So let's turn this one. So I think this must be right. So if I click ask for information from this town here, you will see the name and you can see that it is closest to Venan. And there are 77 kilometers. Oh, that seems a bit strange because if I use my measurement tool the distance is if I go to kilometers only something like two kilometers. Where did that seven to two come from? Well that comes from that this tool by default sets its distance to the center. So, because it's really are difficult to calculate distances to polygons, what it does is it calculates a center point, which for Venon, I guess, would be somewhere up here, um, which probably reflects these 77 kilometers. So, it, this is a distance it has measured, it hasn't measured the distance. From the point to the edge. If you want to do that, you'll need to install this plugin. So there's a plugin called Nearest Neighbor Join. Okay. And um, I have installed it. So I will again. And if I run this join, so this is the one, and it will give you, it will say that. I have some data here that is not in the project, and it will say that it is a short warning on the monitor saying that it this one does the calculation in the units of the stored data. So if I want to calculate the distance from my non capitals to my lakes using this one. And call this will be the name of it, and I'll run it. So now I have again a new layer, my layers here. So I have now a non capital to lake. And if I again ask for Barnabas and go down and look at the joint distance now it is in it's 1.4 kilometers which does match much better to what we uh could measure 
if we did a measurement from the town to the edge of the lake. So depending on which of um, the types of calculation you want to do, so you can use the distance to nearest if you want to, to work points typically, if you are using polygons and you want to have the distance to the edge, then you'll need to use this an end join, nearest neighbor join plugin. If you just want to the center of it, then the distance to nearest hub will work fine. The difference between the nearest hub as points and as lines are mainly, I would say, a question that I use the line one if I want to have this spoke effect where I can see the connections. Otherwise, I will typically use the nearest uh, distance or the distance from nearest hub as points because that's the, the one that mo gives most sense in most situations. So, hope um, useful um, and hope to see you in another video. Bye.